Hi hey Luis, hope you're okay mate. Just uh, just a quick video brief for you, just essentially just to give me thoughts on next week just to uh, just to help you along really if anything. Obviously clearly you know things may well and probably will change to a certain extent but um, now I've viewed all the information and obviously all the midnight stuff so I thought I'd just um, <coughs> just compile a quick video brief for you. Um, you know you can use as a reference point if, if needs must. Um, the system obviously for early next week is, is essentially really a bit of a damp squib obviously compared to what clearly could have been that could have been the case and what obviously we mentioned two, three, four days ago. Um, obviously approaches from the west is a pretty pretty potent and intense feature. Um, but obviously just using the uh, the global models obviously through into Monday and Tuesday and essentially the, the system as soon as it approaches it just stalls. Um, the warm air advection throws up a ridge just to the east, both upper and surface. You can see it there, 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 UK Met in particular, and the EC. And essentially the law just, just stalls to the west of Ireland, essentially, Monday, Tuesday, uh, and, and quickly becomes a filling feature. So, yeah, certainly the risk of some strong winds, gales, Ireland, southwest England, and obviously there'll be bands of rain and showers spreading around this, but obviously clearly compared to what could have been, uh, early next week doesn't look really anything too untoward at all for for the time of year. Um, if anything, temperatures look a little bit higher than than was what was likely as well. So it's a relatively mild start to the week, so little risk of little risk of frost as well. Um, as next week progresses, the as I say, the system fills. It continues to fill. It's still there on all the main four global models by the time we get to Wednesday the twenty eighth. Uh, as you can see there, there, there and there. It may make some progress into the UK, but obviously clearly by this point, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty insipid low pressure and, and there's more of an upper trough really of importance, which is likely to lead to a risk of rain or showers Wednesday of next week. Um, again, particularly the further north and west you are, whereas further south and east, it may still not be too bad. Um, winds by this point probably becoming obviously uh, not much of a feature overall uh, and the way it looks at the moment is obviously it's still relatively unsettled to end the week perhaps that uh, that low obviously just dies away from from monday and then potentially replaced by further low pressures to the west and northwest by the time we get to thursday and friday um, and the main uh, the main three global models end next week friday the 30th with low pressure influential to the west and northwest as you can see so there is some sort of consensus for a marked upper trough a long wave up a trough pattern um, in the North Atlantic. So again, probably more of an influence emphasis on Scotland, Ireland, Northern England, perhaps Thursday, Friday, seeing the wettest and most unsettled conditions, whereas further south and east you are, um, potentially at times not too bad. So again, overall, next week looks pretty straightforward, fortunately. Nothing nothing too untoward at all now by the looks for, for, for the end of October as, as it stands at the moment. And just quickly showing you the... Um, the uh, the GFS ensembles, um, obviously, come again compared with three and four days ago. You know, if you re if you remember, we looked at the ensembles, the EC ensembles, and they all were signalling cold. So clearly, a marked flip. Uh, and uh, as you can see, after Saturday Sunday, uh, 850s rise to uh, to relatively high levels. So uh, a pretty mild week next week. Little in the way of frost, and temperatures probably near or slightly above average. To be honest, so quite a mild end to October at the moment. So that's how things stand at the moment, mate. I think uh, you shouldn't have much problem next week. It shouldn't be it shouldn't be anything too untoward at all, really.